BFM spigot welding recommendations. These recommendations are only for welding the spigots in place. Make sure that you have read and understand the installation requirements for BFM fittings. It is essential that the spigots are welded so that you create the correct installation gap required for the BFM connector that will be used. Please check with your BFM distributor if you need any assistance. Welding directly onto a straight pipe. When welding onto a straight pipe, ensure the spigots are clean, wipe with a steel cloth. Ensure the spigot and pipe are perfectly aligned. The spigot must sit flat on the pipe with no gaps between, so that the head of the spigot does not distort when welding. Begin to tack weld every 30 to 50 millimetres. You may need a clamp to help keep the shape. Once the spigot is tacked in in line with the pipe, begin placing the welding tacks closer together. You may need to use a mallet and dolly to ensure there is no step on the inside. Continue until there is a smooth transition from spigot to pipe. Good preparation prior to welding is essential. Cutting down the tail of your BFM spigot. Ensure that you do not cut the diameter of the BFM spigot. There are times when you will need to cut down the tail of the BFM spigot. You may need to trim the BFM spigot to ensure the correct installation gap. Or you are wanting to slightly increase the diameter of the spigot tail. It is essential that you keep in mind the installation gap required when doing this work. The external diameter of the spigot can be calculated using a cloth tape. The spigot tail can then be marked for cutting down. There are a few ways of doing this. You can use a height gauge set at the required height and used on a flat surface. You could use a scratch gauge, measure and scratch carefully. Or you can use your metal rule. Carefully measure and mark around the spigot.
You are now ready to cut down the spigot. Ensure the cut is smooth and straight. If the spigot does not sit perfectly flat on the pipe, the welding will distort the shape of the spigot head, which can result in the BFM fitting not working properly. Sand and buff until you have a smooth finish. Check your diameter and the spigot is ready to tack and weld. Welding to tapered and square to round transitions. Ensure the round transition is the correct size to suit your spigot. If required, you can trim the BFM spigot to match the size with the transition pipe. We must keep in mind the need to create the correct installation gap. Ensure the pipe finishes in a perfect circle. You can use a quarter circle template at the correct size or measure with a rule. Finish by sanding and buffer for a smooth and flat finish. The same process is followed for a square to round transition. Make sure the transition is the correct size and shape. To help create the correct installation gap on site, a transition piece may be used. Ensure the welded seam on the pipe is not in line with the welded seam on the spigot, at least 90 degrees separation. Check that the spigot and pipe are flush and begin tacking. You may need a clamp or two clamps to keep alignment whilst welding. Tap out any step on the inside. Place tacks close together and you are ready to weld. Welding. Ensure the steel is wiped clean. If possible, fill the tube with an inert gas. In this case, we have used argon gas. We have used a wooden plug with a steel pipe attached to the gas hose. You may have another method.
The inert gas creates a clean finish on the inside. It is now time to grind and polish. Our fabricator found this easiest with the use of a straight shaft machine. Grind and polish all welds. Another method is to use a form of pickling paste to clean the weld. You then finish with a final wipe. You are now ready to install the BFM connector. If you have any questions, please contact your local BFM distributor.